Yeah, Vicky, before I get to what they're doing, I want to set the scene for you all. So within the past few hours, crews actually placed a fence around this building to really uh, block it off from people who may try to come inside. Also, too, there's a big yellow sign, notice of intent to demolish. No word yet from city leaders when they will demolish this building. But for a lot of folks inside, well, they're having to figure out where they're going to live next for the short and long term. Of Ballard and South Hancock Streets, since the destroyed 310 and Nulu apartment building, one that 64 people once called home. More than 48 hours after Monday morning's devastating fire, we're finding out more about those who were displaced. It includes three U of L workers and 10 U of L students. The students that um, were impacted, like literally just had on their pajamas, a coat, whatever shoes they got on, and their, their cell phone. Nicole Treco is a third year dental student at UofL, and she helped organize the fundraising efforts on Monday morning. When I was talking about it with our student affairs, it felt wrong for me to just do, you know, the three dental students when there were so many other students in the area impacted. So that's when we decided to do it for all of the health science campus students that were in, impacted. We're told the goal is to raise $20,000 and the funds will be distributed evenly between the UofL students. This is in addition to UofL providing vouchers for food and emergency supplies. As for those not from the university who were impacted, there are other options. Stacy Harris is a local realtor and community liaison. So many families without a tragedy like this are having a hard time finding a place. So when this happens, we really need to come together and try to provide solutions for them. Rental insurance is required to live at 310 Nulu, but Harris says it's a process that can take some time. So she and others have options for those looking for a place to live in the meantime, including in the Parkland neighborhood. If you have to do a short term lease or a long term, we want you to know that our properties are available. We have 34 vacancies, studios, all the way to four bedroom townhomes. It's these type of efforts that Nicole says goes a long way in helping those who need help the most right now. If you were the one, the one that had all their belongings lost in a fire, um, were displaced from your home, like you would want the help too. And another live look outside of 310 at Nulu, one of the apartment buildings. Again, crews within the past few hours locked this area off so folks won't go near the building at all. Um, at last check, that GoFundMe account has raised more than $6,000. So for more information on how to donate or maybe get in contact with any of the people in the story to find out more about housing options, just head over to WLKY.com and click the link to this story. Reporting live, I'm Shaquille Lord. Vicki Rick will send it back to you in the studio.